jank little moment. Okay. So let's take on the airship slash castle, but first we have to visit the castle first. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find him back. Find the magic one so we can change him back. He is a monster mole this time. He's kind of pacing back and forth, looking all calm. But then again, it could be like he's stressed out too. And then the toad just in panic again i think it's either seven individual toads or just the same one but if it was the same toad it w he would have a sore voice by the end of the game he'd probably lose his voice for you know shouting oh the same thing again over and over again so yeah i'm gonna just jump on that a couple times and then make a big jump and again with this one you kind of have to just keep on jumping on them you kind of have to learn to you know use these properly there we go it's kind of stressful too because you have to time it right and stuff. Gotta catch up. That's how you get through that little pattern in there. I'm gonna skip out on the item in the coin right there. I think the left box is a, a uh, power up. Oh no. Okay, I was like, I was like, oh man, am I gonna die here for a second? But then I was like, okay, nope, not the case. And yeah, it's a pretty easy airship. Of all those, there's not an atom at the end though, so that's kind of stinks, but that's okay. I think this is Lemmy. I may have got the Kooplings mixed up between the first world's, uh, you know, Kooplings and the, this world's Kooplings. Yeah. And if I can just stomp on his head like that. He's a little easier than I made it look, but that's okay. We still beat him, and that's all good, you know? So level queer. Level queered. And yeah, we fell out of the sky again. We get kicked out of the airship. Nothing new. It's kind of the sixth time that this happened, you know? It's kind of just the normal routine. Oh, splendid, splendid. I am back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. Looks like a Spongebob king, because like the orange fish and Spongebob or whatever. It kind of looks to me like that. Greetings, I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third goal of the first world. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toto, I think I got that whistle, but I may have skipped that one by mistake. I know I got the one in level 2, if I if memory serves me right. She gives us a when you want to keep it. But again, how are we supposed to do that if like you can't replay levels in this game? You can't even play, you can't replay levels in the original NES version of Super Mario Bros. 3. And you can't, you know, um we do uh retry, redo levels or uh do levels again in this version. I mean, how are we supposed to do that Princess Peach or Princess Toadstool? Jeez. I would love to save at this point. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So, uh, so this has been a very short part, and we're at the level world 7 now, ooh. Ah, uh, this is gonna be, 7 and 8 are gonna be really hard for me because they're hard worlds. Oh boy. So this has been Johnny Go again, I really like the adventure again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys next part of my Super Mario Bros. 